fan it out a little bit. You utter, utter beauty. Although he's got a bit of oh, sun, it's bright. Um, I've got, I might not be able to use any of this footage because of the uh, sunlight. Wonderful note, exciting new world because I've now got a barbecue. So, to celebrate, got a giant bone in ribeye or a cut de boeuf or a tomahawk steak, depending on who you are and what you've got. So, I've had this at the fridge for a couple of hours now, so it comes up to room temperature. Put a bit of salt in it to begin with. Um, if you can, you want to put it on a grill and raise it up just so that the air circulates around it. So it gets it nice and dry. Um, I'm gonna cover it with this clean tea towel just because there's some flies in it. But that's gonna stay there and just carry on coming up to room temperature. Um, I'm gonna do a panzanella salad to go with it. That's gonna be a different video though, so it's gonna be a two-parter. But we're gonna get the barbecue on the go. I only ever use lump wood charcoal or 100% natural briquettes. Anything that's as fast lighting or instant light or anything like that, sack it off. Um, it's got loads of chemicals in it. Same with fire lighters, 100% natural. The little Zippo ones are like little bundles of um, straw, the best sort of ones. I couldn't get them, so I've got the, these just natural ones. But as long as they've got no chemicals in it, because you don't want paraffin, you don't want petroleum, you don't want anything like that in there. Um, so get a fire going. I'm all I'm cooking on here is going to be the. Some hog steak, and I'm going to grill some. I'm uh, going to grill some courgette and some aubergines. So I'm not going to light a massive fire. I'm going to light one smaller fire to one side. If you've got a chimney starter, use that. I haven't got one. So then, uh, always store your wood. Uh, that's nothing you can use actually. You can use natural wood. Um, that's a whole different video though. I think natural, all your charcoal and all that sort of stuff. Always store indoors somewhere dry even if your barbecue's got a little door lock thing at the bottom it'll probably leak these things aren't designed to hold water in any events you got or even more you want them all open all right nice and dirty a little bit of coals there a couple of fire lighters in there uh, these ones are made out of coconut husk i think This is your best friend for barbecues. See how quickly that goes up. But um, do make sure you store it away from the barbecue. And I'm gonna put a few more coals on top. It's probably all we're gonna need. Um, like I said, we only need really a really hot, hot bed of coals just to sear that steak off. We'll come back to cook the steak in a sec once that's burnt down. If you're going to cook a steak, get your coals going about half an hour. Probably, yeah, about half an hour before you're going to start cooking anything. So I'm going to go in and make a panzanella salad, which is going to be another video, and I'm going to put a link to it up here. We're going to be back at in this video when those coals are burnt down. Leave it all open, let it all breathe and we're back in about half hour 45 minutes cook steak so um is our panzanella salad almost done uh link to that we put up here if i haven't already put a link to it that's going to be a side for our beautiful beautiful steak uh the barbie's been warming up for however long it's been warming up for uh we're gonna go out there and we're gonna start cooking this um i've also sliced up some aubergine courgette a couple of nice big portobello mushrooms uh, but we're going to need to take with us some salt, some pepper, and some veg oil. And I am going to want this. Do you know what? I'm just going to get some bits together and I'll see you out by the grill. All right. And we're back. Veg, steak. Need to have a grill drink. I've got a vodka and tonic. A couple of nice slices of really fruity um, Sicilian lemon. Uh, Put the grill grates in place, get them preheating as well. So we're going to give it another, so it's only been 10-15 minutes, I'm going to give it another 10-15 minutes to get it 
that it get really hot. So, steak is now well and truly up to room temperature. We are gonna douse her with oil. Bit of oil in there. So this is um, high smoke point oil, vegetable oil. No, you don't want any uh, olive oil, it's just gonna burn. Not worth it. Olive oil can't deal with high heat like this. And we're gonna go on there with loads of salt. I put a bit of salt on this when I got it out of the oven. Nope, when I got it out of the fridge. Um, just help get some seasoning in there. It's a big old chunk of beef. You're never gonna over season this. Um, as it air dries, that salt's gonna help dry out that top layer of meat. Uh, when it's a steak this big, you make sure you season around the edges as well, especially where there's a load of fat on this side, because we're gonna wanna render all that down, but loads and loads of salt. Beef love salt. Um, a lot of people say, when you're cooking over an open fire, you shouldn't be putting pepper on it because the pepper's gonna burn. I don't necessarily agree with that. Pepper probably does burn. That doesn't mean it tastes bad. A decent bit of pepper as well. Nowhere near as much pepper as salt. Pat that all on. So it's salt pepper on there. We're gonna let this carry on heating just a little bit longer. And I'm gonna put the lid down just so we can trap some heat in these cast iron grill plates. Because they're cast iron, they take a fair bit longer to heat up. Uh, if you've got a stainless steel, you'd probably be good to go now. But um, it's a big cast iron barbecue. You're gonna let that heat. Now that fire's going, and I've got to worry about the fire going out. We've got those vents open all the way. We're gonna let those cast iron grill grates warm up. All right, so now we should be at a nice, respectable heat. So now, on we go. That's what we want. Don't want a super crazy explosion of heat. If you're cooking little, small steaks, thin steaks, lean steaks is the more important part. So fillet, skirt, um rump super hot super quick sirloin the hanger ribeye stuff with a load of fat in it you want to sear it off well get a nice crust on it but something this big it's gonna take a long time to cook so take your time with it right so we're gonna leave it on that side until develop a nice piece of decent crust take a little while though so sit back sip your drink and then we'll check on it again in like a couple of minutes uh so we're about Six minutes in, maybe a bit longer. I think I did it took a little bit longer on the first side than the other. Which means when I cook a steak in a pan, the first side that goes in the pan always ends up looking the best. When I do it on a barbecue, it's the second side. But I've already moved this once because uh, I did some slow motion B-roll sort of thing. But I'm gonna flip that around, start cooking the second side. Uh, what we're also gonna do now on the second side though is tuck the bone in, close the lid. So now we're essentially making a little bit of an oven. We use the confection heat just to put it up to uh, medium, medium rare. I'm gonna leave that like that for another five, 10 minutes maybe. I'll grab a look after five, but we'll be back and then we'll chuck the veg on. Oh, actually, while we're waiting, I'm just gonna dress these veg. All we're gonna do is give them a little spritz of olive oil all over and a nice big season with salt. Um, I'm gonna move it a little bit just because down here I want to get a little bit more colour on it. Oh, I mean, come on, that's a beautiful looking bit of steak. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some tin foil. We are going to take our uh, steak off into a pan. And chuck tin foil down on top of it. We're going to let it rest, but while it's resting, the tin foil is going to keep any of the animals and the environment off as well. Maybe didn't have enough, I've got way too much veg for how much grill space I've got available. Um, didn't think that through, did I? Right, the veg, I'll give it five minutes, give it a flip. While that's um, best in, take it in, I'm gonna carve it off the bone, slice it on the bias, place it up. So I'll see you in. So I've grilled the veg, got some nice char marks. That's beautiful, steak's nicely rested. Uh, as our panzanella salad, if you haven't seen that video, link up here. That's what we're going to be eating this with. But, um, 
got loads of crap all over the place. I'm get that out of the way. Had a, can't have a barbecue without having a drink. Right, so how are we going to serve this? We are, first of all, going to carve it off the bone. Now I like to leave a bit of meat on the bone so I can sit there and eat the meat on the bone because, you know, it's, it, it's, it's uh, everyone likes to think they're Henry VIII. Now, you can just slice this up wherever you want, but I like, because it's a nice big chunk of steak, we've spent a bit of time on it, spend a bit more time on it and just gently cut it on the bias like that. And then this is the bit where it gets really nice. See, perfectly, perfectly medium, uh, medium rare, medium, medium rare. But it's such a big bit of steak. It doesn't need to be rare the whole way through. And all that fat's all rendered down. And this is my favorite bit, this little heart of fat in here, this all gelatinous and oozy and unctuous. There, that. Push it all back together again, turn it on the side, put the meat or the bone around the side, fan it out a little bit. You utter, utter beauty. Red meat like this, meat in general, should be a, should be something you celebrate. Don't do it every day. No one's buying Tom Hall steaks every day, but meat in general, because of the carbon footprint, because of all of the environmental concerns, shouldn't be eating meat every day. So when you do eat meat, go out, buy really good quality meat, go to your butchers, go to an online butchers, go to a, a farm shop, get really good quality, sustainable meat, take your time and celebrate it. And that is a celebration. <laughs> I'm gonna chuck some of these veggies on there. Make a nice little meat platter. And then this is gonna be my photo for the thumbnail and the gram. But I mean, come on. Panzanella salad, summer incarnate. I think I said that about that cocktail I made last week. Um, barbecued meats. I mean, what is not to love? Make that ahead of time. Those can, you can cook while you're resting that. Take your time with that. It's no waste of time. It's beautiful. But there, done, sorted. I'll put that there because it looks better for the gram. There we go. Right, like, comment, and subscribe. All that jazz. Uh, be good if you can't be good, be lucky. And I'll uh, see you uh, next time. See you when I see you. And uh, yeah. Bye.